welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be installing a wig from ic hair inside the package i received a 28 inch straight frontal wig i also received some lashes an elastic band edge brush and some more stuff I received is a 13 by 4 frontal straight wig as you guys can see the hairline is very pre-plucked and the knots are super small so as you guys can see by the thumbnail I will be doing a side part soup but because only one side of the frontal is showing, I only plucked one side. For this install, my client will only be keeping the wig on for a short period of time. So I only use one layer of glue just to keep it down for that short time. Now that the one layer of glue is dried, I will be placing the lace into the glue. I started with the left side that will be shown so I can match it up with my client's hairline properly. Even though this insole will be on for a short period of time, I'm still doing the thin layer of glue on top of the lace to secure it more.
music. Yeah. It's 12 01. It's fun. It's my birthday. I'm 20. I'm not a kid no more. I'm not a teen. I'm grown. Thank you. <laughs> For the baby hairs on this install, I will be doing some simple edges. So I did a little swirl at the sideburn and I swooped only one side, side that is showing. The products that I'm using to swoop the baby hairs are Got To Be Blue Gel and Cream of Nature Mousse. This is what the hair looks like after I flat ironed it bone straight.
Now that the edges are completely dried and I styled the hair already, I'm using my bio silk and applying it to the hair that I will be hot combing. For the part that I'm swooping, you want to make sure that you hot comb it really flat so that it'll be easier to lay down when using the got to be glued free spray. Before you apply any product to your client's hair, the free spray, you're going to use a clip to hold the hair in place so you can know exactly where the hair is going to lay. After you've done that step, you can then use the free spray and apply it to your client's hair. Once you've applied it and combed all the product into the hair, you can blow dry it on heat. When you're combing and blow drying the soup into place, it may not dry right away, but it'll eventually dry on its own and become hard.
Now to secure the soup, I'm using all the hair that I soup to the side and a piece of hair in the back of my client's wig and placing it in a rubber band together. To make sure that the ponytail doesn't stick out in the back of your client's head, you're going to take the ponytail and place it inside of the little loop that you made with the ponytail. Now I'm just lifting up my client's baby hairs to give it the soft effect and outlining the part to make it look sharper. This is what a 28 inch wig looks like from Icy Hair. Now I'm just going to cut the ends of the hair to make it a blunt cut going straight across. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you love the outcome. Thanks for watching.